Yo, check it out. Living in the present moment has become a popular saying. But so very, 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 very few people ever actually touch the present moment. Today, I want to talk to you about how you can begin to touch this moment in a deeper way than you ever have before. You see, it, this living in the present has become this popular saying, right? And it's and I'm while I'm thankful for books like The Power of Now that have really helped people become more aware that there is this eternal moment, that there is something bigger or greater than what uh, than the way in which they're touching life. And this is vital. This this is important. I love this. I'm very thankful for these sorts of books that have come out. And I do genuinely believe that they've aided, they've helped mankind. But here in the West, um, and I say in our Western culture, and specifically, I think in our modern society, we've let go of like real discipleship like really being committed to something carrying out something like we read a book and we're like yeah baby i'm i know i'm all about living in the present moment i read eckhart tolle's book uh, uh the, the power of now and no man like there are people that have committed their entire life to the eternal reality of the now there are monks who have been meditating for 30 years 50 years just to be able to experience perfect peace and that perfect peace is available to you. And no, you don't have to meditate 25, 30 years. You can have instantaneous peace right now. You can touch this moment in deeper ways than you ever have before. But I want to say this. It's got to have a value to you. You've got to have some fucking skin in the game. What is inner peace worth to you? What is this worth? What is your ability to not be moved by the world system and by what others are saying and what others are doing? What is your ability to intimately be present in a greater way than you ever have before? What is it worth to you? You need to ask yourself that question. Pause the video. Ask yourself that question. Have a heart-to-heart -heart with yourself. And now I want to kind of give you a phrase that I think has been really valuable to me in my endeavors and my searching for all my life for the present moment, for the eternal. And I've lived the last 10 years just in this continual state of bliss, unmovable, unshakable. And it's really been a beautiful existence since 2010. And the saying that has really aided me in continually bringing my mind back to a present reality is this. When you go to sleep at night, Sleep as if you are entering your last sleep. When you wake up in the morning and you leave your home, leave your home as if you have nothing to return to. Leave it like you would a pair of old shoes. This whole idea is about being so present in such a present awareness that there is nothing outside of this awareness. So when I sleep at night, I sleep as if I'm entering my last rest. Guess what? If you can sleep like you enter, as if you're entering your last rest, you will not have a worry in the world. You have no anxiety. Anxiety will not exist in your body and in your mind if you're living in the reality that this is the last moment. There is no other moments. This is it. The one key to leaving anxiety behind, be here now. And while this is a popular saying and very few people ever touch it, you can touch it. But first of all, you got to ask yourself, what's it worth to you? And second of all, you have to be really willing to let it go. The problem with letting it go, the reason why it seems so difficult to let shit go these days is because our identity is directly attached to or tied to this self that is holding on to these things. In other words, the self is, it finds its identity in these things that I'm trying to let go, in these core beliefs that I'm trying to let go. And beliefs are literally what your identity is or what ego is, who I believe that I am. Now, you can be whatever you want to be, whoever you want to be, and you can change that as you go. None of that is what, what or who you are. Your beliefs do not make you what or who you are. There is an essence beyond all of those beliefs about yourself that is what you truly are. And that is what my heart's goal and desire has always been to introduce you to. So that then, as you awaken to that, you can really play in the world. This is the key. 
And so when we, when we leave these attachments behind, all of a sudden fear of loss is gone because I have nothing to attach to. The only thing I have is this present moment. I'm not attached to this jacket. I can leave it behind. I can just leave, I leave the jacket behind. I'm not attached to the jacket. I'm not attached to the shirt. I just, I just leave it behind. I just leave it behind. I'm not attached to, I'm not attached to, to, to these glass. I'm not attached to anything. I can tr truly and authentically leave it because there is nothing for me but this moment. And the same thing exists for every single one of your relationships. The same thing exists for every one of your possessions. And the same thing exists for every single one of your thoughts. And so I just want to encourage you right now. Let the shit go. You are powerful. You are a powerful creator. You get to create right now exactly what you want. And you can either do that from the eternal mindset or you can do that from a temporal mindset. The first thing we need to begin to comprehend about the eternal mindset is that this eternal mindset is literally the essence or the su that, that brings forth the substance or the energy of form. It is pre-form. So if you want to really create something, manifest something, or attract something to yourself relationally, uh, materially, or spiritually, what you need to first understand is that you are actually the essence that is vibrating and creativity to bring forth or manifest. You are the father of all creation. You are the father of all manifestation. And so listen, I wanna encourage you right now. The only way you can truly recognize the father of all creation is to let go of all the things that you've identified in first. Because the father doesn't need an identity. I am is not identified, not identifiable, is not recognizable, it just is. I hope you have an incredible day. I love you so much. Remember, the more you awaken, the more you play.